Hey dear students of class 6 how are you all i hope all of you are doing well welcome you back to my class again today in this video we will try to understand about longitude and time in the last video i explained to you about the concept of longitude and what is greed now in the early days when there was no clock now you people have clock right otherwise you can just check the time in your mobile phone but before uh, the invention of the clock or coming of the mobile phone, how people used to determine the time of a place? They used to determine the time of a place depending on the movement of the celestial bodies, that is the sun, the moon and other planets. Sun is the best timekeeper. Why? Because every day the sun rises and the sun sets. So sun naturally is a best timekeeper who helps to identify time of different place. Now the sun casts shadows like during the daytime or during the noon The shadows are shortest and during the morning, that is the time of sunrise and sunset, the shadows are longest. So on the basis of the shadow cast by the sun during the day and during the sunrise or at the sunset, we can identify or we can determine what is the time. Now the sun moves from west to east. As the sun moves from west to east, that means the sun will rise where first in east and it will it sets where well in the west so as the sun rise in the east that means the eastern portion of the earth will get more amount of sunlight and for a longer period of time so the east that means on the basis of prime meridian i told you the prime meridian divides the earth into western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere so as we move ahead to the eastern hemisphere one hour is added and as we go behind, that means as we move towards the Western Hemisphere, one hour is subtracted. This is the prime meridian, which is at zero degree. I told you that this is a reference point which has been taken so that we can find or locate all other longitudes. When the prime meridian will have the sun at the highest point in the sky, that, mean, that means it is midnight and all the places located in this meridian that means along the meridian will have the same time. Now let us see the difference in time. Longitude and time are interrelated. The rate of difference can be calculated as now what is the shape of the earth? It is sphere. So a sphere is 360 degree right so the earth on its axis of rotation covers 360 degree in 24 hours that means it covers its one rotation that is 360 degree in 24 hours so 24 hours completes 360 degree then in one hour, it will cover 15 degree, 360 divided by 24, 15 degree. That is one hour equals to 360 
divided by 24 it's coming 15 so 15 degree now then how much time it will take to cover one degree of longitude one degree of longitude it will take 60 divided by 15 that means 4 minute why I divided it with 60 because 1 hour equals to 60 minutes so earth covers 360 degree in 24 hours it covers 15 degree longitude in 1 hour and 1 degree in 4 minute that means time difference of places on one degree longitude apart will be four minutes. This way the earth is divided into 24 time zones. How many time zones? 24 time zones. Each of one hour each zone covers 15 degree longitude so the earth is divided into 24 time zones each of one hour so if this is my 15 degree so this is one hour this way the one hour is going on that means we are Going on adding this one hour as we move towards the east and we go on subtracting the one hour as we move towards the west. But the earth is divided into 24 time zones that is each of one hour and this one hour that means each zone covers 15 degree longitude. As we move towards the eastern hemisphere that means towards the east it is one hour added. As we are moving towards the west, one hour is subtracted with each longitude. Now, let us understand that how this one hour is added, how this one hour is subtracted. That means what will be the time at 15 degree longitude if it is uh, 6 a.m. here in 0 degree, that means at Greenwich. Let us know that what will be the time in some degrees east and in some degrees west. So, let us move ahead with the next topic. Let us understand that if it is 6 a.m. in London, what will be the time at 90 degree east or 90 degree west? Now, our earth is divided into 24 time zones. Already I told you that the longitudes are located at 15 degree interval. So 15 degree means 1 hour. As we have understood that the earth takes 1 hour to complete 15 degree. Right? As I have told you that earth takes 1 hour to cover 15 degree. That means 15 degree each that means one hour so in the east i told you one hour is added and in the west one hour is subtracted so if it is 12 noon at greenwich and at 15 degree east it will be 1 pm and at 15 degree west it will be 11 a.m. Then what will be the time? At 180 degree it will be midnight. Right? It will be midnight. Now let us say that if it is 6 a.m. in London that means Greenwich. Then what will be the time at 90 degree east? Tell me what will be the time at 90 degree east. So it is 6 a.m. at 0 degree. And here is 90 degree. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 1 hour is added. So 6 plus 6 it will be. What will be the time? If it is 6 a.m. here. It is 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 9 a.m. 10 a.m. 
11 a.m. and 12. That means 12 p.m. What will be the time in the west at the same longitude? It will be 1, 2, 3. So just go on subtracting. That means 6 a.m. Then 5 a.m. 4 a.m. 3 a.m. 2 a.m. 1 a.m. And here 12 a.m. Now what will be the time at 105 degree east? If it is 3 p.m. here in Greenwich. So 3 p.m. in Greenwich. What will be the time? At 105, very easy, just calculate again. 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It will be 10 p.m. Then what will be the time at 105 degree longitude west if it is 3 p.m. in Greenwich, 2 p.m., 1 p.m., 12 p.m., 11, 10, then we have 9, 8. So it will be 8 a.m. in west. It is 105 west. So as we are moving towards the east, one hour is going on at it. As we are moving towards the west, one hour is subtracted. I hope all of you understood. Now, let me ask you a question. Suppose you know the time of Greenwich, which is 3 p.m. Then at what longitude the time will be 7 a.m. Just see, 3 p.m. 7 a.m. You can understand that, that it is reducing, that subtraction. That means we have to, we are going to the west. So 3 p.m. it will be 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, this is a.m. 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 7 a.m. That means 120 degree west. Right? Let me give you one more question like this and you will give me the answer in the comment box you know the time of greenwich which is 7 a.m now at which longitude the time will be 11 a.m. This answer all of you will provide me in the comment box. So I hope all of you understood that how do we find the time. Just for example think that in New York what will be the time if it is 6 a.m. in the morning in India. New York is located in the west and India is located in the east. It is 8.30 p.m. And it is Saturday. Here it is Sunday. I told you that as we move towards east, one day is added. And as we are moving towards the west, we are losing one day. So if it is 6 a.m. in India, that is Sunday, it is 8.30 p.m. in New York, that is a Saturday. Clear? I hope so all of you understood how we find the time. Then if it is 12 o'clock in Greenwich, what will be the time at 15 degree east? What will be the time at the 15 degree west? How do we calculate? The earth is divided into 24 time zones. And on the basis of time zones, we have selected some local times which are followed in the places. And we are going to know about it in the next video. I hope so all of you understood about the longitude and time. And don't forget to read the NCRT and the PDF given in the description box. Hope all of you understood it very well. If you like my video and my content, don't forget to hit the like button. And do subscribe to my channel for further notification. Don't forget to hit the bell button. If you have any suggestions or any comment, any problems if you have, you can easily comment in the comment box given below. Until then, 
Take care, stay safe. Thank you.